Hey guys, it's now been over a year since Fantastic Four, or as I like to call it, Fan Four Stick, came out in cinemas last year and was an absolute flop. It's on 9% of Rotten Tomatoes, and Fox ultimately lost a whole bunch of money because of the film. So it'll be fun to discuss what the options are, what Fox can do with the Fantastic Four property in the next couple of years. I can only think of two major options that Fox can go with. The first option is to make a sequel to Fantastic Four, which is a very unpopular opinion and is extremely unlikely. Now they could definitely do a sequel, apparently Kate Mara who played Sue Storm is interested in coming back and the ideas though in the original draft for the first Fantastic Four were pretty cool and they could even be reused for the second film but obviously this most likely won't happen because Michael B. Jordan is now playing I think the villain or he's just a cast member of the new Black Panther movie so therefore he's now part of the MCU. Of course they could just recast Human Torch but it's unlikely and because they lost money Fox probably isn't interested in doing a sequel. And option number two, which is sort of a two-parter, is that they could just give the rights back to Marvel Studios, and this can be done in two ways. Either they can just not make any films involving the Fantastic Four for the next couple of years. I think it's about four years, I think the rule is, until the rights automatically go back to Marvel Studios, which that could just be an option, and Fox just won't do anything with it, and will just quietly revert back, so, you know, whatever type of thing. And the second part of this option is that instead they could just sell the rights to Marvel, who might be interested in it. Um, of course, they, Marvel might want to make a deal with Fox, like they do with Sony and Spider-Man, but the relationship hasn't been very nice between Fox and Marvel for the last couple of years, and that's been pretty obvious lately. So of course, they can just sell the rights back to Marvel, and for a decent amount, I guess, but, then, but this is where things get really interesting. The big question is, if Marvel do get the rights back to the Fantastic Four, how will they use them in the MCU and how will they introduce them into the films? Well, here's what I think they should do with the Fantastic Four. Whether or not it's in a solo film focusing on the Fantastic Four, or it's just a film focusing on a different character in the Fantastic Four introduced in this film, either way, it doesn't really matter. But we find out that the Fantastic Four have been around as a team with their powers since the time era of Captain America the First Avenger, or maybe just like during the 60s roughly, so it's a bit more around the time that Marvel Comics became really popular. So that'd be pretty interesting, time era wise. And then we find out the way they got their powers was through this experiment where they travelled to the Negative Zone, or whatever it's called in the comics, and they get trapped there for whatever reason, which can be explained in more detail in the film. And then eventually they get out somehow, or because of a result of something that happens in Infinity War, they somehow escape the negative zone and they come back to regular earth but they've skipped a bunch of years sort of like how captain america was asleep so now they're here in the 21st century in 2018 or 2019 whatever year they introduced and this would obviously sort of mirror the captain america storyline from the early stages of the mcu and we'll be seeing the new fantastic four adapting to the new era new technology and things they're not used to from back in the 60s and also, because they're seasoned characters and they'll be a bit older than other characters like the new Spidey and some other characters that are currently in the MCU, it'll be really nice because they can be characters that are constantly in the background doing stuff that can sort of affect the larger MCU as a whole. And those are my two ideas about what Fox could do with the Fantastic Four property. Like I said, only two options. There's not too much they can really do. Either they try to make a sequel, which mostly isn't a good idea at all, or can they just give the rights back to Marvel one way or another and Marvel can do what they want with the characters, or even if they really want to, Marvel can just not do anything with the characters for a while until they really need them and they're running out of storylines for their movies. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and for more videos don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.